Tie it up. Do a tie up and explain it to me how you, how my talk Mike makes the doodle bug rig. Yeah, I have to take them apart. Montauk slider, which was invented for saltwater fly fishermen, mm -hmm. and it floats on top of the surface. And but if you're a bottom fisherman and you want to make what we oh, wow. call a doodlebug rig, you take it and you tie it onto a monofilament leader. My friend does, so let me talk to him. Yeah. And it's as long a leader as you like. I happen to like a longer leader, and I'll tie a better knot right now. Tie it to a three-way swivel where you can attach your sinker. Snip off the ends to make it nice and neat. So now you have your three-way swivel with your sinker that you add to it. Your doodle bug, you add a strip bait to here, and as it's floating, as you're drifting, it'll be up off the bottom, and the big fluke will come up and whack it and hit it, and you're good to go. Very good, Mike. Now, you invented that. Well, how did you invent the doodle bug rig? Where do you get that popper from? Um, I had the popper made um, as I was expanding the saltwater line. I wanted to see if I could bring something to market for the saltwater fishermen, and I happened to go to a flea market and saw a doodle bug rig from like 1900. Typically, they're white with a red head, and I said, you know, we could take our popper, our friend saltwater fly fishing popper, and turn it into a doodle bug rig, and it's another product in the month of my point. There you go. Thanks, Mike. Now, what kind of action are you going to get off of that doodle bug? When you're, because you're drifting, it's going to go up and down in the current as it's moving, so it's going to have an irregular action, and as you know, fluke are really game fish. They like to attack their prey, so when they see it in that current, they go up and hit it. Put all my bigger fish on this kind of uh, float rig, either a float in the middle with a sandworm or this kind of rig, but the big fluke, like they're more aggressive. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Mike. You're welcome, and good fishing.